Hi, I'm Matt, and in this video we are going to go over Graham's Law of Effusion and Diffusion. So before we get specifically into Graham's Law, let's talk about how we rank the speeds of different gases. So lighter gases will move faster, and heavier gases will move slower. So to rank the speeds of different gases, we compare their atomic masses. So if we're ranking from fastest to slowest, we're going to rank from the lightest gas to the heaviest gas. And if we're ranking from slowest to fastest, we're going to rank from the heaviest gas to the lightest gas. Let's try a practice question with this. So for this question, we want to rank the following gases from fastest to slowest. So in other words, we want to rank the gases from lightest to heaviest. So we'll start by listing each of our elements. So here I listed them as F2, Cl2, H2, and Br2. The reason there's a 2 at the end of them is because all four of these elements are diatomic meaning there's two of them. So we're, whatever mass we get off the periodic table, we're going to have to double it. So for fluorine, we have 19 from the periodic table, and we're going to double it to get 38. Chlorine's atomic mass is 35.45, so we're going to double that to 70.90. Hydrogen is 1.008 and we're going to double that to 2.016. And lastly, bromine is 79.90, and then we have to double it to get its mass is 159.8. Now, we just have to put these in order from lightest to heaviest. So the lightest here is hydrogen, since it has the lowest mass. The second lightest is fluorine, then followed by chlorine, then followed by bromine. That's it. That's all we have to do. So in order from fastest to slowest, we have hydrogen, fluorine, chlorine, and bromine. Graham's law of effusion and diffusion allows us to take this a little further and actually determine how much faster or slower a gas moves based on its mass compared to another gas. So the rate at which a gas effuses is inversely proportional to the square root of its molar mass, or the mass on the periodic table. Mathematically, we'll write this as the rate of gas 1 divided by the rate of gas 2 equals the square root of mass 2 divided by the square root of mass 1. Let's try some questions using this equation. So for our first question, Let's try to figure out how much faster oxygen effuses than xenon. So the first thing we're going to do is write our formula. Rate 1 divided by rate 2 equals the square root of mass 2 divided by the square root of mass 1. The second step is to decide which gas is going to be which. So here, I'm going to make oxygen gas 1 and xenon gas 2. Because then, when we do rate 1 divided by rate 2, that will be the rate of oxygen with respect to the rate of xenon, which is what we're looking for. And now, we need to determine our givens. So, our first mass, or mass 1, is going to be the mass of oxygen, which we could get from the periodic table, and it is 16. But remember that oxygen is diatomic, so we're going to double that 16 and get 32. Xenon, however, is not diatomic, so mass 2 is going to be its mass on the periodic table, which is 131.29. And lastly, we're going to make rate 2, or the rate xenon effuses, equal to 1. And then whatever the rate of oxygen is, it will be with respect to 1, which is what we want it to be. This will make a little bit more sense later. So now, we're going to plug in our givens. So we have rate 1 divided by 1 equals the square root of 131.29 divided by the square root of 32. And solving this by dividing rate 1 by 1 gives us just rate 1, 
and doing the math on the right side gives us 2.02554, and so on. Now, that doesn't mean that the rate at which oxygen effuses is 2.02 meters per second or something like that. Instead, it tells us that it is 2.02 times faster than xenon, which is actually what we're looking for. So here, we're going to say that oxygen will effuse approximately twice as fast as xenon. So, for our second question, we are told that helium effuses three times faster than an unknown gas. What is this unknown gas's mass? So just like the last question, the first thing we're going to do is write our formula. Rate 1 divided by rate 2 equals the square root of mass 2 divided by the square root of mass 1. And then we're going to go to the side and write our givens and decide which gas is going to be which. Here, we're going to make gas 1 helium. And then we're going to make gas 2 to our unknown gas. So we're just going to put a question mark for it. And now we're going to figure out the rates first. So the rate of helium, we're told, is three times faster than the rate of the other gas. So we're going to make the rate of gas 1, or the rate of helium, equal to 3. And the rate of gas 2, or our unknown, 1. Because that shows helium is 3 times faster than that unknown gas. Next, we need our masses. The mass of helium, or mass 1, is going to be equal to 4.00. We get that from a periodic table. And then mass 2 is what we're going to be solving for. So now we could plug in. So we have 3 over 1 equals the square root of mass 2 divided by the square root of 4.00. Lucky for us in this question, the square root of 4 is just 2. So we get 3 over 1 equals the square root of mass 2 over 2. If we didn't have a perfect square, we would have to write the decimal. Now, our next step is going to be to cross multiply. So we do 3 times 2, which is 6, and that equals 1 times the square root of mass 2, or just the square root of mass 2. And our final step is to get mass 2 by itself is to square both sides. So we get that mass 2 equals 36. So our final answer will be that mass 2 equals 36 grams or 36 atomic mass units, depending on the scope of the question. Now that we've tried some together, here are three practice questions for you to try on your own. The first question asks you to order gases from slowest to fastest. Question two asks you how much faster does oxygen effuse than hydrogen. And question three says a gas diffuses twice as fast as argon. What is the mass of this gas? At this time, I encourage you to pause the video, and the answers to these questions will be provided for you on the next slide. So to rank them from slowest to fastest, we're going to rank them from heaviest to lightest. So that would be xenon, then argon, then neon, then helium. For question two, you should have gotten that hydrogen effuses approximately four times as fast as oxygen, with the exact number being about 3.984. And then for question three, the mass of the unknown gas was approximately 9.99 grams. Hopefully you got these. If not, feel free to leave any questions that you have in the comments below, and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.